who suck at painting. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're playing 8th edition now. You're new to Warhammer. Let's learn how to assemble and paint. Take your box, look at the front, look at the back. While looking at the back, tell yourself, my miniatures are not going to look like this. Not today, just accept it. Using the Emperor's will, let's open our box. The base is two. Now that we have a sprue, we need to cut it. I have a pair of flat back pliers. These are uh, GW brand, they're old. They make better ones now. Just gonna wanna carefully cut these out using the flat part against your piece. And you know what? This is, uh, this is taking too much time. Time to assemble. Kicker. Glue. Now, you definitely can put too much glue, but you can't put too little glue. Just kind of hit that happy medium. Take your piece, lay the glue around, stick it together. Spray, spray, spray. Hold it for a second. Ta-da! It is complete, and it's time to prime. Citadel Chaos Black Primer. Spray it outside. Don't be an idiot. Boom! Primed. Now's the time when you remember that thing that I said at the beginning of the episode when you looked at the back of the box. Pick your color scheme. Not white. We primed it black. Ultramarine blue. Good choice. These are the paints you're gonna need. We're gonna use our base paint, McRage Blue, as well as a base coat brush. Now sometimes, when you have a proper base brush, as well as the correct base paint, it will make a base noise if you do it just right. I got my prime and my paint, my brush is on the table even though it's getting late. Painting layer by layer, letting it drop and wait. Never use it straight, always thin that paint, hoping that the haters don't hate, even though this video is prime bait. 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 Well, our uh, base coat's done. Next we're gonna put a wash in our recesses. <laughs> we're gonna be using the color Null Oil in the largest bottle that we can possibly buy. And we're using a wash brush. We want to get it only in the areas that we want darker, like the crotch. Throw that brush away. Next, we're going to apply a dry brush of Calgar Blue. You guessed it, we're going to use a dry brush. Dip just the tip of your dry brush in the paint, and then completely rub off all the paint. Now that you're done dry brushing, of course you can't wash your brush because that would obviously make it a wet brush, so just go ahead and throw it in the garbage. We're going to paint the grenades and the guns and the metal, and we're going to start with Iron Breaker. I'm using my base brush for this. I'm gonna paint the bags, Dawnstone Gray. That's looking nice. We're gonna paint all the straps, Bane Blade Brown. To do that, drop your miniature in a box, then add your paint, shake it up, and your straps should be painted. We're going back to Null Oil. If you spill your wash, do not post pictures of it on Facebook. No one cares. Apparently we need to paint this stupid knee white. To do that, we're gonna start with a touch of gray. While we're letting the knee dry, we're going to paint the helmet red. Back to our white. That's just me mixing paint. Eyes are the worst. They're just absolutely horrible. To paint the eyes, we're gonna use Everland Sunset. I'm super good at painting eyes. Of course, a Marine wouldn't be a Marine without some gold. So let's go ahead and put on bronze. Just for fun, let's uh, use some blood for the blood god technical. Last step is to put on transfers. Transfers make your models look way better than you actually did. And that's how you paint a Primaris Ultramarine. Crap, I forgot the base. There we go. You suck at painting, yes you do, yes you do.